Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, July 25th, 2021. This puzzle has a title, it's called Star Search. Alright, let's get started. Alright, it looks like we've got some circles in the grid today. And the grid is also not rotationally symmetrical, so that must be for theme reasons. Let's start with one across, symbol of royalty in ancient Egypt. Hmm. It's not an ankh? Hmm. What is one down? They get the wheels turning? Shouldn't that be the axle? Axles, plural maybe? Maybe this is an asp? Is that a symbol of royalty? That might be. Like proverbial milk? Hmm, so milk that's actually in a proverb. Spilt milk? Is that right? Don't cry over spilt milk. Hmm. Then this would be XP. Apple tablet option. And this starts with an X? Hmm. That seems really weird. Shouldn't it be like iPad Pro or something? Hmm. This P would still be right though, so maybe it's just not axles? Spilt milk? Hmm, I'm still not sure about that. And then iPad Pro. Hmm. Poet Neruda. I'm pretty sure that's Pablo Neruda. Okay, so maybe we're confirming stuff up here. One of the rooms in Clue. Shouldn't that be the library? Hmm, it seems like everything's working except this circle, which I guess is not surprising. Hmm. Gilbert and Blank Islands, former colonial names of Kiribati and Tuvalu. Oh man, I don't think I know that. When the Lascaux caves were painted? <laughs> um, I'm guessing that's the caves in France. It's probably the Stone Age, right? They're Paleolithic. Okay, we've got a celestial figure here. Celestial figure depicted in this puzzles grid in African American folklore. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if the circles are going to spell out something. I mean, it seems like the name of the figure will be here, so I don't know what the circles would actually spell out. Hmm. Company that makes recoverable and reusable rocket boosters. That's definitely SpaceX. Yeah, those videos are really cool when you see those rockets land again. Hmm. So we have another X. It almost makes me think that this should be an X too. I wonder if we're going to have an answer here again that this X should be an I. Let's see. Japanese beer brand. Um, I mean, I want that to be Asahi. Uh, but maybe we're just kind of losing the letters that are covered in X. Um, hmm. Overdue amount. That's an arrear, right? We just learned that last week. It's like the amount of a debt that's past due. Yeah, okay. Wouldn't stand for it. That's wordplay. This seems like a pretty straightforward wordplay clue. This is sat. You literally wouldn't stand for it. Okay. Content of a kinder egg is a toy. Yeah, they have toys in them. Um, hmm, is it Ellis or something? Um, so this is not Asahi. Maybe it could be Kirin. Okay, so that's even better actually because that gives us another I that got crossed out. Um, drink? Does it start with drink? Hmm, Elis, Elus, it might be a U. Could it be a drunk something? 
Hmm. Joe and Co. E.G. Are they talking about G.I. Joe? Maybe. Maybe it's G.I.s. Sharing maternal lines. Um. Is this about like two people that share maternal lines? Hmm. Descriptor of almost a million and a half Californians. Hmm. Is this going to be about a region in California? Is it going to be like Sonomans or something like that? It could be. Seems like this should be an I though, if we're always crossing an I out with an X. So that would not work. Let me see if this is an I. Give way. Hmm. They have springs in the middle? Hmm. This kind of seems like a misdirection of some kind. Is it about sofas or mattresses? I don't know. Or maybe it's about springs the season? Hmm. Like many Chardonnays? Dry? I don't know. Okay, so this should have an X here, right? Last Tsarina of Russia. Hmm. Does it start with Alex? Hmm. I'm not sure. Celestial figure depicted in this puzzle's grid in Roman folklore. Oh. Okay, so... Maybe... Okay, so this is all the same figure, and we're getting different names for it from different parts of the world. I see, okay. I mean, this kind of looks like a spiral, almost. Is it the Milky Way? I don't know. Hmm. Unforgivable acts, say. Betrayals? Does that fit? Ooh, it does. I wonder if that's what it is iPhone button with an up arrow on it. Hmm. It's not send, is it? They have springs in the middle. Popular analgesic. Hmm. It's not like Novocaine or something. NBA superstar Durant. Oh man. I thought it was Kevin. I just, I don't know anything about basketball though, so I'm not super confident there. Give way. Hmm. That should be yield, right? All right. I don't think betrayals is helping. Um, and that gives us that nice I here, which will probably be an X. And then maybe we can put in Kevin. Um, does that help here? Yeah, maybe this could be Oki. Chardonnay's could be Oki. Uh, is this just Advil? Two V's though? Hmm. This should be an S, so maybe it is send. Okay. This is not Advil. Is it a leave, maybe? Those letters look a little better. There's no two V's in a row. Um, this probably starts with evil, right? I don't know how it's gonna end though. Is it seven something? Springs, hmm. Oh, is it Oasis? That's so tricky. That is misdirection. That's really, really hard because an Oasis would have like a spring of water. <laughs> Man, that one was really hard to see. Hmm. All right, yeah, I still don't know this Serena. Furthermore, could that just be and? Because we want this to be seven, right? Um, evil D, it's not evil doer. These are the acts. Hmm. San Francisco's blank valley. I don't know about that. Hmm. And? Can we put in and? The letters look really good. I don't know. 
Boy, we can't build off of any of these, can we? I mean, this should be an X, right? I feel like we can probably go ahead and put an X in all of the circles. Um, hmm. With a yawn, say. Is that sleepily? No, that doesn't fit. Hmm. Boredly, maybe? Hmm. That much is clear. An equivalent phrase. Hmm. Like five star hotels vis a vis three star ones. So this is like a comparative word. It's probably going to end in ER. This is just nicer. Hmm. It might be gather. This is kind of ambiguous. It could be about gathering like berries. It could be about understanding possibly. Boy, we're really not having any luck here. Excoriated. It's like you're reaming someone out kind of. Hmm. Duty. Well, we could probably put in an X. So maybe that's a tax. Yeah, like a tax type of duty. Okay, Blank Perez, former Democratic National Committee Chair. I don't think I know that. Oh my goodness. Belgian city that hosted the 1920 Summer Olympics. <laughs> okay, that was a long time ago. I don't know that one. Um, but let's put an X here. About to enter the stage, say. Hmm. The stage. Is it like a play stage? And then this should be an I, right? Voting I. So that could be in favor. Okay. I wonder why it's always an I that the X is replacing. Is that a clue to what the constellation is? Or maybe the galaxy or something? Delight in? It can't be savor in, right? Because that doesn't make sense. Maybe it's revel in? Yeah. That's much better. Nutritional fig should be recommended daily amount. Go on and on. Go on and on should be drone, right? Yeah, okay. Avance opposite. Hmm. Is this French? There's avant-garde, right? Hmm. My French is so bad. Levy of Schitt's Creek. I think there's an actor named Eugene Levy, right? Yeah, okay. Much of Goya's output. This is probably talking about Goya the painter. Is it? Hmm. It's not still life. Hmm. There's a long down here. Okay, yeah, it's another name for the celestial figure. Celestial figure depicted in this puzzles grid in Babylonian folklore. Oh my god. <laughs> Boy, I sure wish I knew what this celestial figure was. I don't even know if it would help though. I don't know that much about like folklore from other countries. In which Stella means star. I gotta think that's Latin. Does that help with this? Yeah, this could be on next, right? Okay. Is it Tom Perez? That name is sort of ringing a faint bell. Subject of Hokusai's 36 views. Huh. Hmm, I have no idea. I haven't heard of either of these things. Hmm. This has to be Antwerp, right? That's a city in Belgium. Okay, so maybe this is avant, maybe is like before and après is after. I think that's right, because après ski is like after you ski, right? All right. Um, <laughs> these long downs are so hard to get. I wonder if it would be possible to get it even if we knew what this celestial body was. Hmm. 
And then maybe this is Mount Fuji. Okay, that makes sense because Hokusai sounds like a Japanese name. Okay. Um, this J is very interesting here. Hmm. Akira Kurosawa film. Is this a specific Kurosawa film? Hmm. Excoriated. Ugh, man. Maybe we can build back up here? Porridge, essentially? Is it just a soup? Essentially? Probably? Rose of Rock? No, that has to be Axel Rose, right? Okay, with that X in there. And then this has to be an X too. Nickname on a ranch. Maybe that's Tex? That'd be kind of a nickname for a cowboy, right? So is porridge essentially a pate? I guess that could be. Spanish title abbreviated. Hmm. I don't know. Less certain. This should be an R, right? I want this to be like Senora or something. Hmm. Symbol of Mexico. This should be an I, right? L-I-A maybe? Hmm. This is looking like wagon, right? I don't know about pate actually. Um, is porridge oats? And then this could be Signora. Could this be Iffier? Yeah, with that I in there. Wagon official? <laughs> I have no idea. Brawler's memento. Hmm. Uh, something about a fight? A scar, maybe? A brawler? Is this specifically talking about boxing? Buffoon. Hmm. Maybe it's not iffier. It could be other things. Hmm. Where a pop-up leads. Like a pop-up online? In a web browser, maybe? Hmm. If it was baseball, it could be like one out or something. Jeez. Noodle soup could be ramen. Chump? Could that just be an ass, maybe? Unaccounted for briefly should be missing in action, yeah. Fumble could be heir. Okay, is this sir? Lord's title is sir. Yeah, okay. Executive producer of HBO's A Black Lady sketch show. So this is another XI here, right? So I imagine that's Issa Rae. Okay. Uh, this is a test. Should be exam, I think. We're getting a little knot in the center we're able to build off of at least. Like Vulcans typically... Uh, well, they're kind of logical, non-emotional. Hmm. Pesky insect should be a gnat. Is it like stony? Maybe it's stoic. I feel like that's pretty appropriate for Vulcans. New York political family, yes. If you live in New York, you know the Cuomos. Okay, Glazer of Broad City. I want to say that's Ilana. I've never actually watched that show, but I know people love it. Like the three-toed sloth among all animals. <laughs> Is it slowest? I wonder how they measure that. Do they have races or something? Okay, like Parmesan, but not mozzarella. It's probably aged. I don't know that much about cheese, but that seems plausible. Disguised has to be incognito. And that's... Using our X there. Okay, incognito. I like that one. That's a good piece of fill. New wings? 
Maybe new wings of a building? Annexes? Okay. All right. I feel like we're on a roll here. This is good. Fifth century conqueror defeated at the Battle of the Catalonian Plains. Oh my god. Um, is it Attila, maybe? Attila the Hun? It seems like the right time period, at least. Central Asia's Blank Mountains. I don't think I know this one. Gee, that's swell. Another equivalent phrase. Hmm. It feels like that should be neat or something, right? I wonder if Attila is wrong. Yeah, maybe. Neat. Hmm. Something to notice in passing. And this is wordplay. Hmm, in passing? So this is not just like idly noticing something. Maybe it's about passing on the highway? Is it about speed or something? Hmm. Well, this is going to be an X. So 1969 to 74 politically is probably the Nixon era if you're in the United States. Hmm. Tree that lends its name to a programming language. I'm trying to think if I've heard of this. Elm? Oak? Fir? I don't know. Online source for film facts in brief. That has to be IMDB, right? Internet movie database. So maybe it is Elm. I don't think I've ever heard of that programming language. Did I just spell Attila wrong? I probably did. Okay. It's two T's, not two L's. Okay. Uh, notice in passing. I guess it would be a lane? I guess. Like a lane on the highway. Altai Mountains? Oh boy. I'm just going to leave this blank, actually. It's probably an L, but let's come back to that one. Weeks. Could that be adjusts? Okay. Um, there's not a lot of places to build out of going back up, but let's try and do it. Originally from. That should be native to. All right. This should be another X. Singer Aguilera's alter ego, I think, is X Tina. Yes, that's a very turn of the century name, I remember. Okay, star performances, maybe? Um, hmm. This seems like misdirection. It's about celestial stars, maybe. Could it be Nova's? Yeah, that's a nice little bonus celestial clue for our, what I think is a star-themed puzzle. I'm still not sure yet. Risk. Hmm. It ends in a V. That's very weird, though. It's between Micro and Pico. Hmm. Maybe it's not Nova's, actually, because I feel like this should be Nano, maybe? Yeah. Hmm. Raps Lil Blank X. That's Lil Nas X, yes. He's very popular these days. Went into syndication, e.g. That should be re-ran, right? Like a television show? Like Star Trek, maybe? Yeah. Risk. Hmm. This ends in V-N. It's not Wagon Caravan or something, is it? No. Hmm. Steamy place? That's got to be a spa. Guiding light. Is that Polaris? Yeah, it's kind of like the North Star, right? It's got another celestial clue. That's good. Um, so maybe this is Solos. Oh, like a star singer. Okay. I was not thinking that. Maybe Risk is Peril? Yeah, it's like a danger. Okay, a brawler's memento could be a fat lip. Okay, so maybe it is iffier after all. Um, hmm. 
Is a buffoon just an idiot? Yeah, it could be. Something sight? Could it be ad sight? Uh, maybe. Wagon of heaven. Okay, I have never heard of that. Um, Wagon of heaven, okay. So that gives us Dahlia, like a flower, okay. Hmm. Gather. Could that be glean? Yeah, that means to like pick something up, right? Like you notice something, you gather something. Okay. Yeah, that was a tough one. That's a tough, very ambiguous clue there. Um. Hmm. Gee, that's a little weird. With a yawn. I want this to end in a Y. Hmm. Boy, still not a lot of luck building into this section. We got this O though. Joel's? Oh my God. This is not talking about the painter. This is talking about the company that makes beans, right? And this should be frijoles, right? Isn't that the Spanish word for beans? Oh my God, that's so hard. <laughs> that's so tricky. I really like that though. That's a really kind of nice little trap for people to fall in. Okay, so maybe excoriated is like flayed. Yeah, if you're really laying into someone. Jeez, okay. Um, hmm. I still don't know about this one, if this should be a specific movie or not. Hmm. Tiredly? <laughs> I mean, that would fit. Uh, hmm. Seven axle? We already have axles in the grid. I don't feel great about that. Would this be a T? Oh, man. Maybe we can build up through here. Gentile figure of a French folk song. Hmm. I'm going to try and start building in this little section. Peacock streaming initials. Is this just NBC? Isn't Peacock the streaming service of NBC? It is, right? Hmm, okay. Seaweed used to wrap sushi. That should be Nori. Okay, maybe we got a toehold here. Real surname for the authors Currer, Ellis, and Acton Bell. Uh, I think those are the pen names of the Bronte sisters, right? Yeah, that feels right, okay. One time material for tennis racket strings. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Italian time unit, could that be an aura maybe for an hour? Utter nonsense should be rot. Um, is this cat gut? Oh, that's so gross if that's what it is. Um, drinking something? Seems fairly likely. Tower topper? Or maybe tower topper? Could this be about a tugboat? Like a tug something? Digital writing. Is this misdirection? Is this about writing with your finger? Hmm. Or maybe it's just E-type. <laughs> oh man, that's terrible. Uh, no, that can't be right, because that this has to be an X, okay. Um, although, is it e-text? Oh, that's just as bad. I've never seen that term before. That's such a crosswordy answer. Country with roughly 6,000 islands. Hmm. Is at the forum. This is wordplay, so this is probably about Latin, because the forum is, I think, in Rome, right? So is the Latin word for is est? I think it is. 
if I remember my Latin. Um, I like the TTE here for the end of a French name. That's a lot of E's. Okay. Um, this to be G? No, maybe it's Greece. There's a ton of islands in Greece, right? Maybe this is a turret. It is just talking about a tower. Okay, not a tower. Uh, hmm. Alpha and Beta Ursae. Pointers to Polaris. Um. Hmm. Ursae. This is about the the bear constellation. Yeah, and the Big Dipper is in Ursa Major, I think, and that does point to Polaris. Um, maybe it's Majoris? Because I think Ursa Majoris points to Polaris, so that would make sense. Let's see if we can confirm this J. Unit in thermodynamics. It's probably a jewel. It's like a unit of energy, right? Blank special administrative region of the People's Republic of China. Hmm, I don't know this. For all to hear should be allowed. Hmm, place to take a suit. This kind of feels like wordplay too. Are they talking about like a business suit? Or is it like a suit of cards? Or no, maybe it's a lawsuit. That should be court, right? Okay, blank Lang sign. That's old Lang sign, right? That's the New Year's song. Horace's hymn to Mercury for one. Sounds like an ode. Nice little celestial reference here too. Um. Oh, this is Alouette, right? Yeah, there's a song. Okay, yeah, you learned that when you were a little kid. Okay, so this is Macau. Right, okay, yeah, that used to be like a colonial area, right? Okay, I think that's right. And then, um, drinking gourd? That sounds very plausible. I think we can put that in. So, Gilbert and Ellis Island? Okay, yeah, I've never heard of that. All right, well, we have a C. Hopefully that's helpful. Oh, man. Sharing maternal lines. I mean, it probably ends in an IC. Hmm. That much is clear. It almost looks like it wants to end in IC. I'm wondering if we should just put in tiredly. I don't love it, but the letters seem okay. And then these could be evil deeds. Ooh. Okay, so maybe Tiredly did help us out. Um, I gotta remember this is an I going this way. Hmm. I mean, if this was nicer, then maybe this could be I can see. And then this could start with San, right? Like San Francisco or something. Um, maybe it's San Diegan. There we go. All right, finally got that ran. Man, I have not heard of that. Um, and then this could be Alexandra. That sounds like a good name for Zarina. Oh my god. Seven Oxen? It seems like it has to be, and that would make this No Valley. Oof, I'm a little unsure about that, but I think we have to put it in. Okay, well, it, we finally cleaned up this center section. That was so hard. For whatever reason, the center section really took a long time to clean up. But, okay, so we still don't know what this is actually describing, right? Drinking gourd, wagon of heaven, seven oxen. Hmm. I wonder if this is actually like just a picture of a constellation. It doesn't really look familiar to me. Gloomy guy could be a gloomy Gus. That's just unacceptable. 
no excuse, I think is a good equivalent phrase there. Reliable supporters, that could be your base, right? Like a political base. Clear as crystal. Hmm. Starts with a B? Matured in a way. Hmm. Repugnance. Boy. Oh my god. Okay, did we finally we finally got to the revealer down here? Okay. One's committing a party foul or the images depicted in this puzzle's grid. Images plural. That's interesting. Images depicted. Boy. This this theme went way over my head. I just cannot think of this. 1938 prize for Pearl S. Buck. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. Is it a Nobel Prize? It starts with an N. Um, surprising wins. That should be upsets, right? Okay. Grommet? A grommet is a kind of fastener, right? Hmm. Roger's cousin, and this is wordplay. So it's not about a person named Roger's cousin. It's maybe another way to say, I understand. Like, cause you say Roger on the radio when you understand something, right? Hmm. Smartphone network standard. That should be LTE, I think, right? Hmm. Doubled? Hmm. Wine that may be made spumante or frizzante. Hmm. Spumante. Is this going to be in Italian, maybe? Hmm. Matured. Is it ending up? Boy. Noted book club leader, that has to be Oprah. Okay, hopefully that'll help. Female mallard. Is this about a duck, huh? Is it a hen? Can you call a duck a hen? Male mallard. That's definitely a drake. Okay, maybe you can. Certain caucus voter. Hmm, well, one of the most well-known states that has a caucus is Iowa, so maybe it's just an Iowan? That's hard. So what do we have here? Letters before an alias is AKA, yeah. And gritty in a sense could be raw, yeah, I guess like a, I don't know, like a performance or something. Okay, so maybe this is Prosecco. Yeah, that's a type of wine, right? Um. Okay. Hmm. Repugnance could be odium. So what is this? Bus? Yeah, I've never seen bus before. That seems really weird. It almost makes me think that base might be wrong. But that just seems so good. Could this be came out? Maybe? That seems a little weird. Because we wanted this to be double. But this seems like it should be copy, right? Like when you say, I copy, that means you understand. But this this really seems wrong. Um, uh, oh, okay, a grommet is an eyelet. Okay, that's where you'd put the fastener in. Um, or like a lace or something, okay. Kim do that makes more sense. Yeah, like a, um, maybe like a bill would mature, it would come due. And then after that, you're in arrears. Yeah. Okay. So we've got doubled, it looks like. Um, 
How could that be people committing a party foul? Hmm, boy. This thing really took it out of me. Man, I just had no luck getting any part of it. Um, Je de blank witticism. Hmm. Black eyed blank flowers. There's black eyed Susans. Home to the Nittany Lions for short. Aren't the Nittany Lions from Penn State? Would that be like Penn State University, maybe? Doubled. Ugh. Big name in trading cards is definitely Tops. Yeah, I still have a million Tops cards in my basement. So maybe this is Esprit? Jus de Esprit, maybe? I think Esprit is like Spirit, right? Okay, um... Oh, jeez, this is not doubled. It's double and then it's dippers. I see, okay. Okay, so this is <laughs> double dippers when you like take a chip, you dip it in something like salsa, you take a bite and then you dip the same chip in again. So the part where you bit goes in the salsa. That's definitely a party foul, okay. Um, so this is double dippers. Oh, oh, okay. So I guess, oh man, I'm just barely seeing it, okay. So it looks like this is the handle to the Big Dipper here. It starts here and it goes here. And then this is the container part, right? And then the Little Dipper's like upside down, right? So I guess that goes like this is the handle here. And then this is the container part. Yeah, that sort of looks like the Big and Little Dipper. Okay. Oh man, that was so hard to see. I totally was thinking it would be like a spiral of some kind. I'm really hoping once we finish this puzzle, we'll get um, a little graphical flourish at the end that connects all the dots so we could kind of see the dippers a little clearer. That would be really nice. Okay, Ireland poetically, Erin is another word for Ireland. I learned that on crosswords. Bested could be one-upped. I think. Author blank Carol Oates. I'm pretty sure that's Joyce Carol Oates. Let's just make sure. Bouncy jazz genre could be bop, yes. YP looks weird though. World War I Belgian battle locale. Well, <laughs> maybe that's okay. I don't know what it is though. Green with the 2010 hit Forget You. Yes, that's the polite version of that song. That's CeeLo, right? CeeLo Green. I think it's two E's. Enlighten. Um, I think that's Edify, right? Edify means to enlighten. Camping gear brand. I think that's REI. YPR. Okay. A little one could be an elf. And then what is this? Kind of protein in tempeh. That's definitely soy. So this is Ypre. I have no idea how to pronounce this properly. Ypres? Ypre? Yeah, it's something like that. Um, so is this the only square we have left? I think it is. What did we think this was going to be? A lane probably, right? In the Altai Mountains? All right, well, let's give that a shot and hopefully that'll complete our double dipper puzzle. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> I'm so glad that that did it. This was, I don't know why this took forever for me to guess. Oh good, look at that, they're drawing on. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, and it was kind of what we, we thought it was. Okay, so the X's are actually little like stars. Okay, I wonder why they're all eyes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really glad we got this little picture. That's really cool. Um, and then we got, how many? I, I was thinking we might end up with more, but it looks like we got three different names for the Big and Little Dipper. So we got an African-American name, Drinking Gourd. Okay, we've got a Roman name, Seven Oxen. Man, I don't know how they got oxen out of this, but yeah. And then Wagon of Heaven. Okay. And that is the Babylonian version. And then we get the Big and Little Dipper. That's kind of the current American version. Interesting. Yeah, I think this is 
I think this is a really great theme. I think it's just, I don't know why I was just totally off of my star game today. I mean, it's called Star Search, so I definitely should have been thinking constellations. I just, I think because it was such a mass of things, I just kept thinking it was going to be like the Milky Way or another galaxy or something. But yeah, this is really cool. I like that we get the three different names for them. We got the um, kind of bonus um, theme answers in Majoris and Polaris. We got the revealer. Yeah, I think this is pretty tight and it's so cool that we get the drawings. So um, yeah, and there were some really nice wordplay clues on here too. I think Oasis, I mean, that's a really tricky misdirection there right at the beginning. And this Goya output one, the Frijoles, oh man, that's that one's fantastic. I really like that one a lot. I think that's my favorite misdirection of the puzzle. That was so tricky. Um, we did end up having kind of a lot of proper nouns. Um, like we had Ellis, Antwerp, Eugene. We had Issa Rae here. Um, we had this little knot down here, you pray and Silo um, and Bronte. Yeah, I mean, this, this is a little tricky down here. Um, and also it's crossing Joyce Carol Oates. So that's, this is a little nasty here. Um, that's a lot of proper nouns in one area. Oh, and we had these two, Cuomo's Attila and Elana. Boy, yeah, that is kind of a lot of proper nouns, but you know, at least the theme is pretty cool. I like having the idea of having a connect the dots. Constellation is the theme. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed doing this star search with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice, easy Monday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.